Okay, just going to show you how to do a little bit of pond dipping. You might have a pond in your school grounds or there may be a pond locally that you could use. A couple of things to consider before you get started. Obviously if it's not your school pond make sure you've got permission to use it. A couple of health and safety issues. We would suggest that when you're pond dipping the only children who should be at the water's edge are the ones who are actually dipping assisted with an adult at the water's edge and all the other children to the side. Once they've finished doing the dipping, one thing that's very important is hand washing. Obviously there's things like Miles disease and other things that could make the children quite poorly, so good hygiene with hand washing is very important after pond dipping. A couple of other things to think about using the area, just make sure the area is clear of any bushes, trees, roots, sticks, things that the children might trip over, cause problems whilst you're using the area. Equipment that you need, relatively straightforward. Some of the equipment that we've got today could be substituted for similar things, some margarine tubs, old tubs like that. You don't have to have all the proper kit. One of the main things that you're going to need though is a pond dipping net. First things you need to do is to fill a tray about half full with water. An adult might be best filling this because you do have to bend quite low over the water. If collecting the water into the tray is difficult, use a bucket on a piece of string or a bit lower if you have to reach down to the bucket. So we'll just fill the water. So bend low, reach in, collect the water and take it to your safe area where the other children are going to be waiting. Once that's filled with water, you might also want to half fill a couple of your sampling pots with water as well. Again, they can be filled at the water's edge or you could use it from the tray that you've got. So whilst most children will be waiting with the tray, the child dipping will come to the water's edge. <coughs> to pond dip, you need to make a figure of eight with the net in the water. So that's the action that I'm going to be making. If you've got plants and rocks around the edge of your pond you might want to do some dipping right up close to those or you might choose to do the dipping in the open water maybe get a comparison to see what you find where so when you come to the water's edge for young children or children that perhaps aren't very steady they might want to kneel and dip like this alternatively you could have them standing and go like this it's important to tell the children that it's unlikely that they're going to see things in the net straight away. They need to take it over to their tray, so that's where we'll go. Once over at the tray, bend low, turn the net upside down, and then very gently push the net through and rinse it in the water, making sure that all the animals in the net are now in the tray. Once you've got the tray, some things will be really obvious to see, other things might be a bit trickier. Plastic spoon is really helpful for picking up things that you found. Hold them over the tray and you can have a closer look at them on the spoon. It makes it really quite clear being on a white spoon to see the animals. If you want a closer look or to pass them round, making sure that there's water in your pot, you can put the animal in, put the lid on and then pass it round. There are some really good identification sheets. This is from the Field Studies Council and it shows all the different kind of bugs and different things that you'd find in a freshwater pond. There are other books and things that you could get from school or from the library. You might want to sketch what you've recorded. When you've finished, just make sure that an adult safely returns the tray to the water. Again, when you're putting the animals back into the pond, bend low and make sure that everything has come out of the tray. That's why it's always a good idea to make sure the adult does this bit, because animals do sometimes stick to the tray. Okay, thank you, have fun.